better known GOAT of the, the MPL, yeah. uh, has a 9 and 0 record on his Chang'e. So I can I can understand as to why Next Lee Sports put so much stock here into this Chang'e as compared to the 1-1. One -one. Yep. And uh, I agree because uh, if you want if you really play, if you want to play with a Lancelot, you need to go full ham. You need to have another hero who is currently seeking into the gold lane who can apply pressure as early as possible. Yes, one one is possible, but it will take them time for for them to uh, to go online. As we head straight into game two, last series for the day. Welcome to the English broadcast of MPL PH season seven. Yo, Onik versus NXP. Let's see if NXP will force a game three against this. But uh, the draft. It's uh, really even. It's all about the execution here, Leo. Yep, it'll come down to who is better at the right time. Dilar versus James. Up top, the Paquito versus the Barat. We've seen that match up uh, from game one. But down bottom, that's where things change. It's uh, all puns <laughs> intended. Renegade <laughs> versus Iaknu. Uh, the Cho versus the Chang'e. Again, if you're able to space out and bully the Cho, he does have to come dash in uh, the old fashioned way, loving the Purify here then um, yeah you're, you're off to a great start as next play but oh, oh look at that void crystal slowing down next sword but that forced the flicker but as you were saying earlier leo yeah i completely agree uh the chango can really give a lot of impact and it, he's just saw iapnu getting out of the lane so there's a lot of gold in the hands of Renny jane right? oh no the crystal once more in conjunction with a bouncing ball by jay Making sure H2O doesn't have a free go at the Litho Wanderer. So far, so good. I think uh, both yeah. teams know how to play this early game. It's uh, going to be the next rotations that matter. Yaoi, oh. nice jump on the Kyrie. Because Kyrie uses a Void Crystal just to clear out the waves. And I think that's the right thing to do. Prioritize on your farm. But Renegade here getting choked out. A little Jeet Kundo from Iaknu and Hate with the normal attacks. But oh, the fight is not over yet. Jay with the Tyrant's Revenge trying to get a little bit of space as Kyrie will assist with the Void Crystal slow. Something tells me Renegade is distracted. He was a little too deep. Mm -hmm. And um, there was no clear communication as to where uh, the other members of uh, Onyx PH were which resulted in that early first blood. He had no way of getting out of there. Oh. So uh, now, let's see. Turtle, jockey for position, Onyx PH. Yep, Looks Crystal. great. Starting itself, half HP already for the Turtle with a long range Simon's Revenge. They were able to take down the Cho, but the Turtle will be taken by the uh, Lancelot here. But look at James, Kyrie out of position. Oh no, once more, the perfect target, did is he? They, 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 they gobbled up H2O, spat him out. The Turtle buff was relatively useless that's true since it got denied instantly but hate here just going for the safe side zero zero two at the moment for his kda and uh, onyx ph just uh, again behind when it comes to net worth but nxp they're still able to turn things around here let's see um the turnaround for onyx could come in the form of an they could collapse onto Chang'e. They could mm. collapse onto Renegade. Uh, they saw how he has tendencies, and if Renegade doesn't learn from that, then they could use that as a pivot so that Dilar up top could repeat what he did game one and just slowly build up. That's one option. Another here, uh, let's talk about the other side. NXP, what can they do? They can bait out plays with Exhort. Yeah. Exhort is amazing on the Lunox. Um, he can definitely melt even the likes of Dilar. So. If Onyx PH is looking to fortify and reinforce Dilar as their frontliner, then Exhort should build up just the same, maybe even faster. Yep, since he does have the capability to uh, get that or reduce the armor penetration or the magic, penet um, magic penetration rather for Exhort is really high, can instantly burst out Dilar here, which will solve the problem for NXP. But looking at the situation here, most of the members of NXP converging into the bottom lane, trying to assist Renet Change to get his items up. And also with the Mystery Shop, he will get that 10% discount for his items. So again, a lot of Mountain Shockers happening here with the Dragon, but H2O just uses the Puncture to get out. Plus the Witcher Shower exchange here. Reply from Reddit J against Iyapnu. Oh, he needs one more! Oh. And... Oh, almost there! Just a few more hits, literally one more basic attack, and just like that, Onyx BH has timed out NXP, oh. but... Look at this, real-world manipulation, trying to cash out three members, got immobilized for 0.5,
but not much, not much damage for Onyx PH since Hate and also uh, Iyaknu were there at the uh, top lane and also farming their orange buffs. But it was a nice attempt though for uh, for NXP. Yeah, good Trying effort. Out. But TDZ, mind you, check this out. After that wave of the dragon, which was also defensive, uh, NXP is actually ahead. Oh, NXP yeah. has been spending a lot of time in their lanes, even if they don't convert or even if they don't find a kill, they find a way to make their moves efficient. Yeah, and th that is really needed here for NXP because we've seen the game or how Onyx Page reacts earlier. Even though that they're behind, there's always they're always finding a way to catch up and also even turning the tides on the. Uh, around but look at Yaoi here in H2O H2O currently sitting at level 9 no no kills at all but look at Exort Dilar with a Detonus welcome trying to take down Exort here but not much damage as Exort will be alive with a quarter HP left I was gonna say nice pick off by NXP but did you see how long that took yeah it was around 10 seconds he, he just absorbed a lot of Three damage from members. The... Wow, that's how tanky Delar is. And what does he have so far? Demon shoes and like destroyed. not even built items. Yeah. So that's how chunky uh, a Barats is, ladies and gentlemen. Put respect on the hero. Yeah. And look at that. He just bought time for uh, for NXP. And talking about Yaknu with the way of the dragon, he will not survive as a turret will focus him in. And uh, that's another kill for uh, for Onyx PH and Onyx PH is not stopping, just providing information for the rest of their team. How is how does uh, NXP react every time? But with the meteor shower, man, they're clearing out the orange buff. Yeah, they're they're, they're displacing uh, the resources uh, that J has. Oh, sorry, that um, Renege is displacing the resources that Hate needs. And I think it's a smart move. I, I do think that is something that's valid. But look at this. Jay getting pushed in. Oh, Hurricane Dance plus the Phantom Execution will secure that kill. And he will bag that Heftasis inside his pocket as the turtle will be slain. Another advantage here for NXP. But Onyx traded up for the turret. They left Iaknu. Smart move there, switching it up since Iaknu has been having a hard time. Uh, Renegade not at all shy with his meteor shower. And I think that's the right way to play the Chang'e. Always find the right spot. If not, find something to use it on. And uh, yeah, so far so good here for NXP. Ahead by 2,000 uh, gold. Onyx PH, they're looking for better pickoffs. I think they should find more just like they did to James. Yeah. Up top. At the top there, looking that was for free. any change. And, uh, but this time... NXP are much aware that uh, that our top lane is exposed. We're not going to give another chance for Iyak to split us up. As uh, NXP, or rather, the uh, the items of uh, Iyaknu is also there with the flicker plus the hurricane dance. And the case assault will take down one. But Iyaknu taking a lot of shots from the meteor shower. Void crystal plus the real manipulation. But Jay is also there. Forced to use the order of brilliance. Oh! And the rage. Yes, would be enough though. But uh, magic damage will not help them out. Since Iyaknu's HP is really low, not that much confidence when it comes to uh, going for the risky play. Because mm -hmm. again, he's the one who's uh, currently uh, stepping up the tempo of uh, Onyx PH here. Might be a bait here. Dilar doesn't force the issue. Alright, was about to say that NXP almost perfectly played that situation. Almost perfectly played after uh, the uh, real world manipulation, but just the same. Maybe the perfect play was not to finish, actually, not to get any kills. But right now, Jay's going to fall. It's it's these little pickoffs that might result to how game one looked like. Yeah. Now, the only thing that's missing from NXP is the finish. Yeah, they need to finish things out as the rest of NXP able to smell Iyaknu. This is four members Hello. of NXP now. Thorn Rose did not connect, but uh, Iyaknu will get a free pass to disengage. And uh, Eve was also there, but look at the top lane, Leo. Uh, Dilar and also Hate trying to force an issue since they knew, saw that NXP are just at the bottom part. Mm -hmm. I think uh, NXP have uh, sentenced themselves to owning the bottom half, the bottom quarter. But wait. Oh, James playing around the two heroes of Onik, and he will get out. Worth it. Look at the, the, the time he bought there for, yeah. for NXP. I think he was looking to bait for a... Uh, oh. Oh, again, Meteor Shower starting things off. Mountain Shocker knocking out James. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, and Jay here. Look at the damage dealt by Rena Change, by Rena Jay. Glowing one plus the Ice Queen one. You don't really want to be on holy the path. Holy Crystal. Another Holy Crystal. That's how fast Rena Jay is farming right now. Nine minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. But again, uh, I think that was a Chaos Assault used, and I see a lot of butterflies at the back of him. However, Jay here with the Tyrant's Revenge. Hurricane Dance in reply for that. Reload Manipulation will be used as well, but Dilar, again, he needs to protect Kyrie. Dilar decided to get out Hit! and absorbed, next but target? here, next target indeed, H2O will get the double kill, oh. plus the emote, trying to taunt out Dilar here, perfect torn draws, hitting all three edges, oh, I think that was a puncher, he tried to get out, Rene Jay to the rescue, to the tier 2 turret, and Rene Jay is also with the basic attacks, the slow from the ice oh. one, and the glowing one, burning him out, and that's four heroes down for Onyx PH, NXP's in, hold up! Ren and Jay to the rescue, Woo. stopping a DLR from getting with away with one quick one over H2O. NXP in amazing shape. I'm liking how they've recovered, especially after that long, grueling game one. TDZ, check this out. James has accepted the fact that he's gonna play Diversion. Yeah. I think earlier, especially uh, after he, before he died uh, from the Mountain Shocker, he was trying to bait out ults from Kairi. He was trying to make Kairi use the real manipulation, but alas, uh, the future knows what's up, but just the same, NXP recovered so well, found another way to get for pickoffs anyways, yeah. and uh, they've grown their advantage, TDZ, wow. 7,000. 7k net worth lead, so that's around 3 to 4. Well, three core items here in three, favor of three, NXP. Three of the expensive items. Yeah, yeah. Three expensive items. Oh my goodness. But we've seen how Onyx played it out earlier, even though that they're behind. Let's see if they can uh, at least stop the bleeding of uh, Onyx PH here. And look at the position of NXP. They're preparing, positioning themselves near the tour, uh, well, near the Lord Pit yeah. and Yaoi from the front lines. 15 seconds away from Luminous Lord. Onyx PH, again, shades of their play from game one. They are playing from behind. They know how to play from behind. But, uh, yeah, wait, they catch uh -huh. Yaoi. Void Crystal, slowing him down. And also be with the Missile Expert trying to displace Yaoi. But Yaoi is so tanky. And both the tanks and uh, will refresh the Lord and also wait for another ultimate. Yep, this is essentially a... Um, Reversal of roles. In, mm. in, in game one, NXP, they had a lineup like this. Yeah. Look at their lineup. Look at uh, Onyx PH's lineup. It's a lineup that's so much CC. Yeah. Right? right? In comparison to NXP this time around, they have a Lunox. They have a Chang'e. They have a Lancelot that can dive in. Again, it, it looks like it, it, it's a total swap, but just the same. I, I feel like next play they, they learn from game one. They oh, learn they yeah. learn more from game one. You never really just lose if you learn, if you have lessons. So That's that looks real. like what NXP is doing here. And uh, they are trying to go for this early lord. No, it's a luminous now. Yeah. It's here we now go. A luminous lord. It's luminous. And NXP starting to uh, again pull, but Every time that they see a member of uh, of Onyx Page, they will always go for the reset and wait for the perfect timing. As the rest of the members, here I'm looking at the top lane minimap. I'm uh, again seeing a disengage from Yapnu, but he's taking a lot of shots from the meteor shower. And James will close things out. Oh! And NXP with the Hurricane Dance canceling Jay here. Thorn Rose will secure the kill, but James still moving forward, trying to look for Kyrie. Kyrie doesn't have the flicker. He will use it perfectly just behind that wall, but that will give an, a lot of time for NXP to take down the floor. Okay, um, three v five. Difficult steal here for Onyx PH. Good call to not try to contest. Hate securing his own purple buff. Just manage the waves. Understand that the next minute is going to be difficult as we wait for the Lord to spawn mid. NXP is calling down Lord from mid. This is what they lacked from game one. Uh, I'm pretty sure it should at least, equal, uh, should at least result in uh, an inhibitor loss or... Or at least a pick off. That, that's yeah. that's what NXP is looking for. What they, that's what they need. Go for the pick off. But uh, yeah, also Onyx understands that. Uh, yeah, they will go for a pick off right now. With Luminous Lord charging forward, almost half HP now for this tier three turret in the middle lane. But Lar here waiting for the right opportunity to catch out H2O. H2O with a puncture. 
went straight to the bottom lane, getting that basic attacks up. But look at James here, trying to control Jay. And Jay will pop the Courage Mask. Dilar is soaking a lot of damage from the Meteor Shower. And look at Ren and Jay with the damage. Yeah, we isolating Jay here. No more tanks at all. And slowly, NXP taking down Onik one by one. Four heroes down. And that is NXP forcing a game three against Onik PH. DDZ, that was just smooth. NX, yeah. NXP, amazing recovery. Onik PH just was not armed to defend there. Yeah, they, uh, well, I completely agree because just like what you mentioned earlier, it's almost the, a different way around compared